brides or savvy shoppers. They're not going on your website, calling you 30 seconds later, and booking you. They are making careful decisions. They want to meet you face to face. They want to look at you in the eye and say, if I give you a deposit and I'm not getting married for 18 months, are you going to be on free on your side? <laughs> are you going to take my deposit and go out, go out of the country with it? Um, so she really wants to be able to trust you. And she will call your references. This might be the first time in a long time that she will actually take the time out of her busy day to call your references. So make sure they're in line. She wants to see, touch, hear, and feel what your services have to offer. These are the three questions that the brides ask themselves when they're going through the show. Whether they know they're asking them th themselves these questions or not. Who are you? What do you do? And why should I stop? If you remember nothing else from this evening, please repeat this mantra. <laughs> get them to stop. Get them to stay. It's not enough to just have a nice looking booth. We've got to get them to stay in your booth. Brides stop at your booth based on a number of different reasons. As to what category you're in, what your booth looks like, and who is manning your booth. Again, if you remember nothing else, remember get them to stop, get them to stay. Inspiration. There's some ways to get some inspiration, and it just takes a few field trips on your part, especially for us ladies, we'll have no problem visiting the mall. <laughs> going to the grocery store and going online, and that's what I recommend you do before the show because window displays are actually very similar to your booth. Mirrors tend to catch the eye. This is from Anthropology. They always do a nice window display and it's very inexpensive what they're doing. If you can see it here, it's actually soil and a plant hanging. <laughs> you couldn't get anything more simple or inexpensive than that, but it looks quite elegant. Hanging ribbon always looks very nice. Five ideas for five dollars. So if you don't have a whole lot of money to spend, I'm going to show you some things I bought from Michaels for five dollars or less. Rose petals, ribbon, and there's a lot of different things you can do with a ribbon. You can actually put it, ribbon, you can put the ribbon between your black and white linens on your table. We can't have lit candles, but we can have the battery operated candles. Anything that's going to catch their eye, so something that might sparkle, just scatter throughout your table. Mirrors of all sizes. And writing down some type of show special on some decorative paper that might get their eye. Bookcases from home are always a nice way to display if you have a lot of product. Toolkit. Come prepared. Bring these things with you. And for everyone that's not here today, you're going to get some referrals because they're going to be upset, freaking out, and you're going to have the push pin that they don't have. So make sure you come prepared. And the list can be very, very long. But I will mention, because somebody commented on my shoes, do not wear <laughs> these type of shoes to the bridal show. And if you do, please bring a pair of flats with you. Because most of the time, the girls can't even see your feet <laughs> from where you're at within your table. Look like what you are. When you go to the grocery store, I want you to really pay attention. So next time you go to the grocery store, do you see any ambiguity? Do I know what I'm buying? Look at these end caps. I know exactly what I'm buying. Say no to ambiguity. Any guess on what this vendor does? This might be a florist. It might be a caterer. It might be a wedding planner. It might be a photographer. I have no idea. So when I walk down the road, what do I do? I keep walking because I don't know if I need their service or not. This is much more specific. This is a ceremony reception site. They've taken photos from their site and they brought easels with them. This is a very simple way to dress up your booth. This is a little bit more complicated. For your first show, maybe we don't go this route. Maybe we do this our second, third, or fourth show where we create something by going to Home Depot or enlisting somebody to help us that's pretty crafty. First of all, this booth was busy throughout the course of both days for January. And did they have the best looking booth? No. Is their booth look very, very nice? Yes. 
but it was their customer service, and that's why they were always so busy, is because people were staying in their booth. But you can see how they have the photos laid out, that they're above eye level, and that's what really catches our attention. So even if they have a busy booth like this, I can at least see some of their photos. I know exactly what they do, floral preservation. We have Margarita Machine Rental, and I think this is great because not only are they keeping in the theme, it's very clear what they do, and they're wearing a uniform of sorts. You can see their booth from very, very far away. It absolutely caught your eye. It made you want to go to their booth, and they were busy the whole time, um, and part of it was because of how their booth was set up, but their customer service was so great that it got them to stay in the booth. Again, bringing the eye upward, adding some color to your space. This is something relatively simple. They just hung what you would put um, in your dorm room in college um, and, and added some, some real pizzazz to their booth. You can see how they really brought color and warmth into their booth. They're really catching the eye. You don't have to spend a lot of money um, to make it look really nice. And they just printed that off the computer and then uh, matted it and added some bows to it. A nice sign, we know exactly what they do, and they did something relatively interactive. They would show all their different types of drinks and give a little recipe and tell a little bit about it. So the girls that were looking for something fun with their signature drink were able to accomplish that. Bringing carpet is a really good idea. Not only does it catch the eye, but it gets the girls to stay longer in your booth. Because their feet hurt and they're walking on this hard concrete, and if you can make a comfortable area for them, it allows them to stay a little bit longer. Where's your sign? This one blends into the background. So it looks like they've purchased a big booth in this Washington DC show. They've done a really great job, but their sign is camouflaged. This is a standard ID sign. This is similar to what you will get with your booth. I recommend that you're, if you're taking your booth to a whole nother level like this particular one did, that you opt for a different sign, even if you make it yourself. This is the worst. Can we see a sign? No? I think they're a florist. I have no idea who it is. Another florist in the DC area could be taking credit for their booth. And, um, so don't cover your sign. There's another place to put it. You can also put it in front of your table too. Again, maybe not for your first show, but you can see how easy it is to see which company this company is with. These are similar to the linens you'll be getting in your booth, the black and white. Dress is important. This is a don't. <laughs> um, <laughs> why is this a don't? Because Everwood Media is going to be at my wedding. And I'm picky. And even if I think he's a great videographer, I don't want him showing up to my wedding looking like this. It doesn't have to mean wearing a suit. You don't have to wear a suit. Dress appropriately. Ask for the sale with your nonverbal cues. Does it look like they want your business? I have someone in the background um, crossing their arms. Somebody's sitting, which I recommend that you never do. Um, and they're talking to each other. They don't have any interest in the bride. If looks could kill. <laughs> do a drawing in your booth. This is really, really interactive. Check out our coat. <laughs> our girls would not be wearing anything like that to our January show. Prices. We have packages starting from. This is your first show with us. What, is, what do you think is the most common question you're going to get? How much? How much? Don't let it freak you out because the brides can read it on your face. Practice, practice, practice. Practice ahead of time what to say. <coughs> Sounds a little bit strange, but this will be the most common question you're asked. She is not wondering if you're the lowest price. She wants to know that you're the best value. So she's getting the most for her money but not necessarily that you're the lowest price within your category. A show special is always a great thing to offer. You want to give them some type of deadline. Be in the bride's shoes. You have a choice between this and this. Which one are you going to pick? 